Yo, what's good? So, I want to talk about something. And I really hope I can talk about it the right way and I convey my message in the, the way I feel like I want to convey my message, right? Conversation comes up a lot uh, in the creative space about money. Money, the root of all the, that green paper stuff that once you rip a hole in it or anything else, it, it has no value no more, right? The stuff we place a lot of our stock into in life, everything else, everything has a price tag, everything is for sale, and whatever, right? And as a photographer, creator, artist, it comes up a hell of a lot. Almost too much. Almost to the point I get tired of even talking about the conversation, uh, having the conversation, uh, haggling with clients. But at the end of the day, man, I feel like too, the clients I have to haggle with are not clients that value my work. Because I have enough work out there, enough body of work that's floating around email me i will tell you show you uh i got a website instagram facebook stuff on tick it's enough out there to the point where i should really have to prove my value i shouldn't i shouldn't at all man not one iota but i often find myself in conversations in which I'm lobbying for a, a uh, opportunity, especially on Facebook. There's some groups out there where they'll come in and say, in search of photographer for blah, blah, blah. I had one just yesterday saying, in search of photographer for this. I don't want to pay an arm and a leg for this, 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 and this. But at the same time, why, why we got to get cut short like that? Huh? Why? I don't want to pay $1,000. Okay, well... You gonna get what you pay for. And two, once again, post your budget. The person that's in search of, post your budget in these groups so we know as photographers what we are and are not willing to even throw our name in the pot to do. I don't wanna do everything. There's some things that, as a professional, I don't wanna do. Now, your hobbyist may be interested in that $100 shoot, that $200 shoot, right? Or they may be more interested in just collabing and doing the shit for free. That's not where I am. Check out my body of work. And if you think I should be giving it away for free, DM me personally and let's chop it up. Talk about it as in your reason of why my work, my art, at the level that I feel like I am at, should just be giving it away. And that's what some people actually want you to do. That's actually what people are doing. And that's what's tearing the market up. It's absolutely destroying the market of professional photographers competing against these hobbyists. Do me a favor, hobbyists. This is no knock on you because I started there too. Advertise yourself as an hobbyist. Advertise yourself as such. Don't throw yourself in the pot of professional photographers with these uh, experimental practice shoots where you're either not charging the client or you're charging the client so little that when I come along or someone else of my expertise and, and skill set come along, we can't get any work because they already feel like we're way too overpriced for what they have run into a lot out here, <laughs> right? Now, if we start setting the market value with X, Y, and Z, and then people come in lower, they, they should know that that person most likely is not as experienced as the people that are charging a thousand or so dollars for a photography session. Right? So understand that. Understand that, okay, for example, I'm not a shoe salesman. I'm not a shoe salesman. Why I say that? As a shoe salesman, let's say I'm, I, you go in the Foot Locker. In order for me to pay my bills, I got to sell a hundred and some pairs of shoes. Right? A hundred and some pairs of shoes are just to pay my bills. That's different than a photography session. 
Not a lot of work goes into selling shoes. A lot, a lot, a lot of work goes into producing a high quality, high valued art photography session. A lot, a lot. Like I said before, a memory card costs $175. What make you think I want to do a photo shoot for $100, $200? You're not even paying for my memory card, let alone my time, my effort, my skills, my vision, my art. So it's hard for me just to just say, okay, I'm going to get out of the way to you. I can't do it at this stage, man. It's just too much work. It's too much work to just give away. Way too much work to just give away. Too much. So, back to the shoes. Like, I want to sell one photography, two for, uh, photography sessions. Bare minimum. In, in order to get bills paid. Because running around trying to do 10, 15 shoots a month as a solo act just isn't, it's not sustainable. I can't do that month after month after month, begging and pleading and fighting for my prices and fighting with people over the value and fighting with people over the editing. And I wanna find that market that when they see my work, they call me, they know what it is, they value it, no haggling. Only haggle is what day we shoot, what's the location, what do I need to wear, that's it. Do I need hair? Do I need make? That's it. But the the output shouldn't be a lot of haggle, man. Because you know what it is when you book me. It's going to be high quality work, high energy at, on the shoot. And I like turning ordinary people into people of high value and confidence once that shoot is over with. Yeah, I want you on your high horse. I want you feeling like you on top of the world. I want you to feel like all the nooks and crannies, the stretch marks, the this, the that, it's all okay and it's gonna be all right because Stu made me feel amazing. The experience was amazing. The value was amazing. Hanging it up in your house should be a sense of pride, like a red ribbon cutting type ceremony just to hang it up in the house and, and know that it was a piece of art that was created for you by an artist. That's it. I'm trying to get out of the game of the Instagrams and the, just sending digital images to people because those things at the end of the day, in my estimation, do not hold a lot of value because they're just stored on your cell phone. They're just stored on your cell phone. I don't feel like that's something of value. Artists don't create things that just get stored on the cell phone. They create things, they stamp it, they sign it, you hang it up in your house. You have it out on display. You don't display it on social media. You just don't, it just doesn't make sense that way. So when it comes to the money side of it, man, I'd much rather work 30 something hours, 40 something hours. Sometimes each shoot can take almost 50 something hours when you calculate all that shit into what goes into it. The marketing, right? The pre-shoot uh, session, sit down and talk about how you want the session to come out, what to wear, makeup, hair, all that stuff, right? Planning it, reaching out to venues to be able to get in there and do it. Time, location, all that stuff goes into it. Driving, gas, food, packing all your equipment, make sure everything works, buying enough memory cards, batteries, all those things. Then you on session, you go to the shoot, you, you shooting and things go right, things go wrong changing outfits, it's hot, it's cold, it's windy, it's this, it's that. Um, working with people with kids and having, you know, people bring their kids to the session. It's perfectly okay with me. They can hold up my cell phone and do some behind the scene footage if it's me. I don't, I'm not knocking you for that. Everybody in this world has some, some kind of thing, right? Some kind of thing, some kind of issue, baggage, Whatever we want to call it these days, everybody got it. Especially if you get older. I'm looking for that older crowd anyway. Because those are the people that value art to me, in my estimation, more. The Facebook crowd, the MySpace crowd, you know what I mean? They value it more. 
And I think they value it more because I think at this point in their lives, they value life more. Every day on this earth is not guaranteed, man. Tomorrow will be it. And they want something they can pass down, a legacy they can pass down. Oh, look at grandma. Oh, look at grandpa. Look at that. And they pass that stuff down. I got pictures of my dad right behind me that he gave to me when he started getting into his older years and health was on the decline. He gave it to me because he never know. He don't want to hold on to it. What can he do with it now? And that's where I, that's the art I want. You take it off your wall, you hand it to your grandkids, you hand it to your kids for them to pass down and to keep. Or an album that you created, you pass it down to them and they keep it. That's what I want to create. But with that, people have to understand that that stuff should come at a cost. If you're willing to go out and you pay McDonald's all their money, they ain't cutting you no deal. I don't care how many times you like, follow, share, comment, subscribe. When you go in there, you're going to pay their prices. Oh, but I follow you on social. And I can get... They don't need your exposure. They don't need it. They just want you to be able to run around with their McDonald's logos all over the food, the bag, the everything else. And that's another thing. Stop asking photographers to take their dang stamp off their work. Man. You don't ask McDonald's to take their logo off that cup. You don't ask McDonald's and, and, and Starbucks and all these people that are billion dollar industry to take they they brand off of the stuff they give you everything you get from them is gonna have a logo on it they signature and that's for a reason that way when you walk around with it people see it that's, you just free advertise and that's all it comes down to if i put my stamp my logo my watermark on some work it's there for a reason that way you don't have to worry about mentioning me and tagging me and it's there it's there. I don't need you to know. It's, it's, it's just, it's easy. It's more efficient that way to me. I'm not putting it there to ruin the photo. I'm putting it there as my stamp, my signature. Right? You don't buy a piece of art that you're going to hang up on your wall and ask that just because you bought it, ask the artist to scratch their signature out and erase it, take it off. They ain't going to do that. So stop asking me to do that. Artists to do that. Photographers to do that. Just understand the game. Understand what it is. We out here trying to make a living. I try to pay. I pay my bills with my camera now. <laughs> After this divorce, my camera is now paying my bills or helping pay my bills. Right. So hobbyists, please market yourself as a hobbyist. I'm not telling you to get out the way, but just move over, move into a different lane. Let everybody know what what lane you in. Because now people are running into so many hobbyists, they thinking that that is fair market price for photography at $200, and it's not. If if you got a full-time job and you just pick up your camera on the weekends and weekdays when you off work just having a little fun, that is not professional photography. That is hobbyist. That's your side gig. That's your side hustle. You cannot label yourself as a professional, fully paid photographer if you just pick it up on the weekends. That's my estimation that's my opinion of it somebody that wake up every morning and looking for a client looking for someone to pay for their art in order to pay their bills that's a professional so understand the fact that when you see certain price tags on a professional's work it's because they they know shoots are coming few and far between for people to actually value your work so you're gonna have to charge a premium for that in order to eat Feed other people in your life, pay bills, have a sustainable living. All that comes with it. It all comes with the bag of being a professional photographer. And it's a lot of hours, a lot of work, a lot of no's, few yeses. And trust me, as a photographer, you know, man, when you get that little dopamine hit of somebody calling you and tell you, man, I really love what you do. Because I can tell you, I feel like myself. I feel like this is me. I feel like I'm the dopest in the city. My work, color, black and white, it don't matter. I feel like I'm the dopest in the city. And if anybody want to challenge that, we can go image for image. We can talk about it. Let's do it. I'm down for it. Let's go. I'm down for it. Natural light photography. Can't no, I don't feel like nobody in this area is, is with me. I don't. And I'm not trying to sit here and, and shit on and, and shade nobody else. I'm just... Patting myself on the back. I'm giving myself my flowers. So that way, nobody ever got to do it. 
I'm hey, if I get one like and that's for me, I'm good. I'm good. But anyway, man, I think when it comes down to being paid and, and things coming down to people having a sustainable living, understand the hustle and the grind that goes into that. If y'all go out here and, and pay a billionaire or a billion dollar company all their money, all their bread, why y'all haggling with somebody that's just trying to make it as a small business owner? Why y'all haggling me? You don't go on McDonald's asking for no discount because you know they're not going to give it to you. That's why they billionaires, trillionaires. They're not cutting you no break. I don't care that. You think Jordan cared that your baby didn't eat because you went out and bought his shoes? Hell no. That's your decision to make. He don't care. Ask him. I stopped buying Jordans when Jordan, when I went to Foot Locker to buy a pair of Jordans and I told them I was in the military and they said, well, he, he doesn't offer military discount. Everybody else in the store, every other brand in the store had military discount except for that guy. Now he a billionaire, trillionaire damn near. Billionaire, high billionaire. Oprah money billionaire. And won't cut an active duty member a break on some shoes. And his brother's a freaking active duty retired sergeant major. So that means he won't even give his brother a discount. Come on, man. You think he care about you and your family? And your wallet? Nope. I'm not saying I don't. But I work with you to a certain extent. But I'm not finna sit here and just drive all over the city, produce all this work, and then give you a discount. Mm, I mean, I, I would love to. I would love to. It depends. It all depends. Situational depends. It, it really does. Uh, because I think at the end of the day, the collabing is a slap in the face for those that have paid full price for my work. They have paid full price for my work. And then for me to backdoor and give somebody a collab deal based on exposure, exposure ain't feed me, it ain't feed my kids. Hell, it ain't even putting food in my dog's mouth. Exposure's not doing nothing for nobody, man, unless it's the right deal, the right collab. If it's a, a huge business and they want you to come in and, and do what you know then yeah do that hold on one second yeah do that if it's a huge business and it end up being a huge opportunity for you by all means do it man don't pass that up no yeah do that for free 100 percent. do that for free but for your normal person that just wants you to collab because they cute and mm -mm, and they got 2,000 followers of people that just follow them because they cute. I trust me, cute did not pay no bills last year for me. It was a big flop, so I stopped doing it. I stopped doing it. I have a couple of muses that I use to push out different, you know, styles of work to show people variety. But other than that, nah, I don't really do all that collab stuff no more because it just didn't do nothing for me. Maybe I was picking the wrong people. Maybe I advertised it wrong or whatever. But it just didn't do nothing for me. It just, it was a lot of work and I got nothing from it. So I stopped doing it. So anyway, I'm going to cut this. It's getting a little long, but I, I mean, once again, I can talk about the, the pay aspect of all this and the value aspect of all this all day. Uh, and I don't want to. I want to be able to post my price, stand on it, and have people that really value it be the people that hit me up and, want, and, and, and book it. Book it. I ain't hard to find. Look. I ain't hard to find. I ain't hard to find. And just know that when you book it, it's going to be top quality worth. You're going to get way on more than you pay for. Albums, prints, experience, hair, makeup, all that, man. I'm trying to get on like that. But I need y'all's help. Right? If you're going to go out and spend money with these billionaires, spend money with these guys down here that are struggling. And with that, I'm going to leave that right there where it's at, man. Love y'all. Be easy, take care of yourself, take care of one another, book it.